here I have a, uh, a partial prompt uh, and an empty temp folder. And if I save that PowerShell module, Delivery Optimization Troubleshooter, uh, it's written one of the engineers at the Microsoft team. Uh, but if I save that script, obviously it shows up in the folder. I can go ahead and run it. And it has uh, three different switches, the current version. Uh, there are rumors about the upcoming versions, but for now, this is it what they have. But I can run it for a regular health check. I can run it for uh, hearing. And I can run it to get some information about the connected cast server. But even if I do just the health check one, it does run some quick, um, well, health checks about my device, making sure that the service is actually running, which is uh, helpful, uh, checking how much memory I have, how much disk space I have. And then it does some configurations on a few different ports. Uh, and it also checks that my device uh, actually can reach uh, the CDN service that Microsoft has uh, for this. Uh, what I learned earlier today, though, that this particular check here kind of lies a little bit because the script is actually doing a ping or the <laughs> equivalent of a ping uh, to these servers. And you can still have access to those, but not being able to do ping because some organizations is actually blocking it. So sure enough, we found an environment where they could be reached, but they could not be pinged. So this test set fail instead of success. So, uh, but that is not too hard to, to test yourself. You simply borrow one of these, you do a testnet connection. And I also learned that the good old test connection that the script uses uh, to do the ping in PowerShell 7, you can specify a port. Ooh. In PowerShell 5 or Windows PowerShell, you cannot. So that's why I'm using testnet connection instead. But anyhow, uh, that allows me to do a test connection and, and uh, happiness. Uh, anyhow, so that... Um, that was I spent my part of my morning with, and then I spent the rest of my afternoon together with Mike Terrell arguing about two Pixie servers or with two Pixie servers. Uh, just to learn after a bit of troubleshooting, yep, both of them had their certificate certificate expired today. Like, what are the odds? The one day we sit down to do work with them, <laughs> a two year cert decided to nah. <laughs> You you deserve a hug after having to deal with certs <laughs> this afternoon.